Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today, we discuss my favorite of the 2018 Breitling Navitimer 8 collection. This is a voyage of discovery for both of us, because when I went to the unveiling of the line in February of 2018, this was the model that wasn't ready for prime time. It was still in development. It was still being prototyped. Now, I can show you a pre-owned example of the final production watch. And the Navitimer 8 Unitime is a handsome piece. 43 millimeters no longer feels oversized in this day and age. It feels like a standard-sized sports watch, and it wears that way. It's a very reasonable spend, lug-to-lug -lug of 51.2 millimeters. I find you could probably wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. It's not excessively thick, though it is 14.9. You can see how the slope of the bezel allows it to slide underneath cuffs. It should be good to go with any jacket, and maybe even a few dress sleeves of the shirts beneath as well. The bracelet is the Breitling. Pilot 3 with the asymmetrical slash cut, but this one feeling a bit more premium than most in that it exhibits a combination of polish and satin finish. The end links of the bracelet integrate nicely with the case flank, so it looks coherent and designed as a piece, but you have pivoted end links so it can pull straight down around the tight curves of a smaller wrist. George Curran has made one of his missions at Breitling Improved ergonomics and spare lugs make these more compatible with human anatomy. They're well on their way. Gaps on the underside to vent the wrist, avoid pinching skin and pulling hair. Substantial. All of the removable links are fixed with screws that are recessed to prevent damage and daily use. There is an anchoring system built into the clasp, so you have four different anchoring points for the bracelet, and the clasp has a polished internal single swing arm design with a clamshell lock, and there's a contrast, a handsome one, between the polish of the clamshell lock and the satin finish of the buckle body itself, the new Breitling logo without the wings. Breitling wants you to think of air, sea, and land, not just air when you see its watches. The case band is handsome in that it's spare. There isn't too much of the total thickness of the watch taken up by the case band, which could create a chunky look. It feels nicely proportioned. There's also a bevel that emerges on the flank, and it's not the rounded emerging bevel that you'll see on something like an Omega sports watch. Here, it's sharp, it's faceted, there's a crisp break between the satin of the side and the polish of the bevel, and it's all squared off, chopped and angular at its terminus, somewhat downswept like an invert ducktail. It's a handsome, short cropped, and I would even say rather masculine styling take gives the watch some visual strength and hardness, whereas the bezel is a bit of a softer look. It's rounded with a shallow knurling and high polish. It's not a conventional Navitimer bezel in any sense. It's used principally as a rough reference, as you can align it with the minute hand or the hour hand, but there are no classical demarcations. There's the index, and I suppose one full circuit is going to be one hour. It's an approximate system, and it is very smooth. It feels like it's gliding on Teflon. The dial has tremendous depth as well as superb detailing. The red slash adjacent to the 24 principal reference cities of the world's 24 principal time zones denotes the cities that are going to be using summer and winter time. And then you do have all of those cities representing the 24 principal zones. You have a counter-rotating inner semicircle set of blue and black that give you AM, PM, and you simply read the hour adjacent to each city and then you read your minutes at center. So I'm in Philadelphia, east coast of the United States. New York is my reference city, so I set it at the index at 12 o'clock, and you can see that it's approaching, because this is a counterclockwise rotating ring, 9 is approaching New York, so I know it's almost 9 o'clock in New York, but at the same time I can read the time such as 5 o'clock. It's approaching 5 o'clock in, in Moscow. I, I can read any of these times concurrently, and that's what a world time gives you. There are also a couple of nicely black bordered Arabic numerals. Without that thin hairline black border, it would be rather tough to read the sunburst silver center dial. So these have been properly illustrated and rendered so you can read them. There's a railroad style, or maybe I should say piano key style, minutes track inboard, and then an applied rose gold Breitling B at 12 o'clock. There's a shock of red at the tip of the second sand, and this watch does feature a, a screw-down crown to ensure it's 100 meter water resistance. You can move everything in sync, so I can change the time in New York to 
10 a.m. But what I can also do is I can pull the crown out to its intermediate position, and now I can move my current reference city, and the watch will do the math for me. It'll move the reference ring, it'll move the 24-hour ring, it'll move the hour hand, and the watch continues to keep time. This doesn't stop the process. You can see how I can drive the date in either direction as I jump the international date line. So there's a lot of utility built into this B35 movement. Now, underneath the case back, you can actually see that for which you've paid. Display case backs are definitely a thing in the new Premier and Navitimer 8 collections from Breitling under Georges Kern. As with IWC, you're going to get plenty of opportunities to see the movement, especially when it's an in-house caliber like the B35. Automatic whining, 70-hour power reserve, COSC certified, hacking seconds with the world time function. This one has 41 joules and Etichron for very precise regulation. I love to see that. It beats away a 28.8 and it is a tank tough movement that is based on the B01 chronograph, but a time and world time function exclusive. This one, a little bit stripped down, in my opinion, does more with less. I actually prefer it to the B01 chronographs. See this one and make it yours on our website. And we're back with the Breitling Navitimer 8 Unitime, glowing green by night.